Not sure what's the best belt width for your body type? Well, let's first figure out whether you're short-waisted, long-waisted, or balanced, and that'll determine the perfect belt width to create that perfect slim waist. I'll give you a quick way to check without having to use one of these. Tape measurement, only your hands. Hello, Ada Belt Style Queens. How are you? Thanks so much for watching. To anyone that is new to my videos, welcome. My name is Ada. I'm a stylist and founder of Ada Collection Belts, and I help women rock their shape and feel empowered through style. And I'm super excited to have you here watching. So thanks for taking a minute out of your day. So I've been running the style survey over the last few years, and I think close to about 6,000 women have taken it. And one of the biggest style frustrations most women face are finding the right fit clothes for their shape and accessorizing outfits. I've taken on this mission to help women figure out this outfit puzzle, so here's the deal. In order to find clothes that fit and flatter, you have to know your body type. And one of the things we're talking about today are proportions. So proportions are important so you can choose the right length of tops, sleeves, necklaces, jackets, pants, belts, right? So you're not constantly pulling on your clothes or having to roll things up. Can you relate? And the other question I get a lot is, am I short-waisted or why are belts not working for me? Well, they can work for you, but it is important to know this. Okay, so here's basically how you find out. So you place your hand underneath your bust in the second hand. Then you're looking for your belly button. So my belly button is actually right here in between my second hand. So if your belly button, if you can't get full two hands before your belly button, then that means you are short waisted, which I'm short waisted because my belly button's right there. If your belly button is right underneath your two hands, this is just more or less, you have a balanced waist. And then three hands, so three hands from your bust line, you are long waisted. So now what can we do with this information? So you've probably always heard, if you're short waisted like me, you can't wear wider belts. But guess what? I'm wearing a wider belt right now. This belt is just under three inches. But let me now try on a narrower belt. Okay, so technically the narrower belt should look better on me because I'm short waisted, but that's not really the case, right? The wider belt looked better on me. Let's look at it again. You see that? So really it doesn't just matter if you're short waisted, long waisted, it's something to consider, but it's also important to consider what you're wearing. So the black actually fits in nicely with the some of the print so it ties it in together so it's not just completely in your face it looks as if almost it's part of the skirt and and also this part here it just doesn't look very rich very expensive and so by belting it it helps create that waistline and it sucks me in nicely and it blends nicely with the skirt so let me try on another skirt where the midi belt is the better belt with this skirt since this part here is narrower a midi belt would be the stronger piece. But again, what's, what I'm doing here is I'm pairing the black on black so it doesn't completely break me. It still is elongating and still blends in nicely with the skirt. Now I have a red belt and it's a lot wider and I don't have a lot of space here. And so therefore it's cutting me and it's not elongating me. It's not creating a balanced outfit. The midi belt in this case would be a lot stronger. So here's just a rule of thumb. You can either pair color on color and you can go wider if you have a shorter torso, or if you're going to do a pop color, then do a narrower belt such as the midi belt. What if you have a balanced waist? Well, you're super lucky because you can wear both and you're not really thinking about, okay, well, what color should I wear? If you're short-waisted, you're thinking about the width and maybe the color. If you're balanced, now if you have a longer torso, you wanna go wider so that it'll break up your torso and make your legs look longer. I hope this information helped. Leave a comment for me below and let me know if you have any other questions. And if you're interested in including a midi belt to your belt collection, then I'll leave a link for you down below. Thank you so much for watching Auto Style Tips and Picks, and I'll see you next week.